keep watching to see how I got this look. I'm sad and unhappy. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm glad you clicked on this video. Before I get started, I just want to say that I make socks and arm warmers in all different colors and I put a link in my bio if you guys would like to purchase. You just have to fill out the Google form and you can pay with Cash App or PayPal and it's only $10, $10 a pair. So, you know, support a small business. I posted a TikTok and it kind of went viral and because it did so well, people were asking me for a makeup tutorial and I was like, okay, I really have to try and edit this video because people have been asking me for it still and I was going to wait to post this like around Christmas time, you know, like maybe a week before Christmas as like a holiday type of look, but um, it did so well so I was like, okay, let me just post it now. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just using the white eyeliner to do my eyebrows and sometimes I use eyeshadow but lately I've been doing eyeliner because I feel like it's faster and yeah there's not really much to it you know you just make it as thick or as thin as you like I was trying to go for a thin brow moment so I heard on Twitter that Harry Styles is going to be having a concert in Miami in December and I want to go and I heard it's free and I really 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 want to go but I just have that fear in the back of my mind like what if some fucking shit goes down and it's like it's not like where you would least expect it like stuff that happens like you know I, who would think that something terrible would happen in a Harry Styles concert and I'm like god forbid like I really hope that doesn't happen but like I would love to go and have the experience because I feel like it'll be fun and I never do anything and I don't know I'm just so like introverted and I'm so like standoffish about people like it really takes me a long time to like open up and be like you know comfortable with people I wouldn't want to go by myself just because I've never like been to a concert at least a concert that I want to go to so this is like a whole it would be a whole new experience for me and I don't know if I'm like ready for that I'm using the NYX white eyeliner and I'm just putting that all over my face and then I'm gonna blend it out but um yeah for this part I'm going to just do my eyeliner over it but what I should have done is I should have set it with white eyeshadow so after you blend out the white eyeliner I would say set it with white eyeshadow so it doesn't crease or move and that was a mistake I made because I was rushing and I didn't want to mess with golden hour but I ended up missing it anyways so look I'm just gonna say this if this video doesn't go viral then y'all are crazy because the way that people were spamming my comments asking me for this tutorial this video needs to pop off and go viral I need to get my ass out of this situation that I'm in I'm ready to like be on my own and live in that life that I've always dreamed I could have one of you guys I'm not sure who it is but if I can um if it's you let me know in the comments someone gave me this great idea that I should um, react to my subscribers makeup tutorials or just makeup in general so if anybody wants to send in their makeup looks to be featured in the video that would be amazing I would love to see all of your makeup I'll make sure to tag you on um, I'll put your Instagram in there you know it can be a video or a photo and the limit is three no more than three I wanted to just do one but everybody voted for three so we're gonna do three and that's the limit for for what you can send so um yeah you guys have until sunday of next week to send in your looks because i really want to film the video asap because everybody wants it and i think it'd be really cool to do and put the video out and we can all enjoy it and look at each other's makeup so for the people in the comments that were asking me what highlighter i was using it's the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter um that highlighter is so good it's very glimmery and shiny and it really makes you feel pretty and like a princess and like it really gives off that vibe fenty beauty you need you guys need to sponsor me um let's put me on your pr list come on rihanna you know this we, we need to put me on there um yeah but yeah i'm using that highlighter it's really good i think it's like 35 dollars, which is not that bad especially for the quality 
and yeah I use a lot because I really wanted to sparkle and if I had made it in time for golden hour the photos would have been so freaking like bomb but I mean I still like them anyways before I put on the white lashes I tried to make my own lashes white because you know that would show up when I had the lash on but I used uh, a pencil which I probably should not have used because it was just wiping off you should just use eyeliner or just put on the white lashes I don't know how you how you would do it but this is the way I was doing it and it kind of did work for me but it does come off it doesn't stay on so I would suggest using um, some liquid eyeliner if you're like if you're brave enough to put on your eyelashes and you know it won't run into your eye then yes do it Back to what I was saying earlier about the Harry Styles concert. If anybody's going to the one in Miami, let me know. DM me. Um, I want to meet up with some people. If anybody is going to that concert, let me know. Um, yeah. But anyways, so I'm blending out the white eyeliner under my eyes. And what that's going to do is it's going to make my concealer sparkly. That's like a little trick. That's a little trick for you guys. Put a little bit of the white pencil under your eye blend it out really well then put your concealer over it and watch what happens it's gonna look so like it's gonna bring your face to life it's really cool you should do it and then you could put the um highlight over it i feel what you guys are saying this is so annoying watching and editing and seeing me turning my head to the side but when i do my makeup i tend to do that a lot and i like lean down all the way down like i'm about to fall off the chair i really don't know why i do that like it's so annoying I used to have this bad habit of like having my tongue out when I was like doing my liner. Like I don't know why I always used to do that. A good trick for doing your eyeliner I would say is make the line first. Like map out how you want it to look if that makes sense. Like don't necessarily fill it in before you know okay this is how I want it to look. And like a good trick is maybe to make one flick out one line across your lid and then do the other on the side to make sure that they both match um you know there's a lot of tricks to eyeliner i remember how hard it used to be for me um and i'm still learning i'm still trying new different things so and it's don't be discouraged if it if you don't like your eyeliner or it looks bad because it will get better eventually i'm thinking about doing like a christmas um edibles video um i might do a poll to see what video that you guys would like to get because i really want to you know participate in the whole vlogmas thing but you know i i know i'm kind of late although it's only like been like a week of december there was this girl that um messaged me she emailed me and she was like oh i'm a, a photographer and i'm making this film on the alt community and i wanted to have you in it and i remember she interviewed me and i did this little q a thing with her and she said she was recording it the whole time and she's like, oh yeah, she's like, I'm gonna edit this in the video. And then at the end, um, we're all gonna be in a Zoom uh, chat together and we're all gonna watch the video. And then it's been a whole year and she never messaged me back. And I remember DMing her and she never answered back. And I'm just like, that was so weird. I'm like, what was the point of that? I don't know. She never was like, oh, you know, I just decided not to do it or I was lying or I, cause I really don't know what her goal was, but yeah that was weird i just thought about that because it happened around the same time last year i just keep getting this like weird feeling about youtube and i'm just like you know and when i say weird i just mean like bleh, like because i just feel like youtube has gotten so boring over the past few years like nobody's making original content anymore it just feels boring and forced and i wish there was more all people on YouTube doing videos, you know. Uh, I wish there was more representation for the black makeup artists. It's like I barely see any at all. And you know, when the celebrities have to do their like PR stuff and they have to promote their makeup, they go through the biggest YouTubers, and it's always um, a white YouTuber, and it's usually a problematic one. And it's just like. What about the other makeup artists that are doing so well and they're doing really cool, amazing things? Like, why are y'all going to the same basic makeup artists? Like, I'm so confused. Speaking of, someone just put out um, a makeup line 
and it's another one of those quick get rich scams by these celebrities um with these fake makeup lines the only one i really like is fenty beauty of course um but anyway somebody put out a new makeup line and this person like they were obviously black fishing for like 90 percent of their career and recently they decided okay i'm gonna you know stop black fishing and i'm gonna stop talking in aave and trying to be this thing that i'm not and now i'm gonna look oh kawaii so cute oh and now they're asian fishing and i'm just like you don't see nothing wrong with what you're doing like some people are just so far up their own ass they just don't care who they hurt and it's really sad it's really sad to see um if you can guess who i'm talking about nah nah let me not but um i'm pretty sure you guys know who i'm referring to and their makeup line flopped um i'm sorry that person is just not for me they're very fake and it's just so obvious I think it's funny how certain YouTubers, whenever like a new celebrity comes out with a makeup line, they're like jumping to promote it and kiss the butts and act like, oh my God, this is the best thing. And then you see the real makeup artists that review the product and they're giving it an honest review. And then you're just like, oh, you can see the bullshit from a mile away. Like, I, I don't know. I just think it's really funny. I was watching Instagram reels and I seen this clip of Drew Barrymore because she has her own talk show and she had Machine Gun Kelly on there and I guess he was painting her nails and as he's painting her nails she's just looking in his eyes like she's in love with him and she wants to jump across the table and make out with him and I'm just like what the hell is this I'm just like I wonder if she asked him about the tweets that he made about those underage girls and that video you know that video that one that went viral on Twitter count down the days until she's 18 I'm not waiting until she's 18. I'll go now. Um, I just think it's weird. I just, I don't know. Like, why do people gloss over things and try and act like things didn't happen? Like, take responsibility, own up to what you did, and be like, okay, yeah, I messed up. That was sick. That was disgusting what I said or what I did. Like, I don't know why it's so hard to take accountability. Nobody's like, nobody's trying to like kill you. Nobody's trying to like cancel you. People just want you to take accountability. Anyways, I seen this video of NBA Youngboy and he's, I don't know, like he's basically saying like, oh, he wears emo makeup now and he feels like it's him expressing himself. And I really wonder if he's being like genuine or if it's just, just like, uh, like a, a thing to get him in the news. I don't know. NBA, cut the bullshit, man. Cut the bullshit, man. When you start doing this, when you start being on your trippy red shit, this never been you, bruh. I'm not going to play the rest of the video, but he was basically saying really homophobic things. And if you read the comments, they're really terrible. Like, it's just makeup. Calm down. But I mean, if it's real and it's true, then I mean, more power to you. More black people should be like wearing alternative makeup. We need to be shown out more than ever. There's like literally only a few people on YouTube that are still doing alternative makeup and posting consistent uploads i used to have like some like youtube mutuals and we would support each other's videos and then all of a sudden they just went ghost and stopped posting and i literally don't know what they're doing now or what happened to them and i'm trying to like find their instagram or whatever to hit them up but i'm just like i don't know maybe they just decided like they didn't want to do it anymore and i can understand that because youtube is really stressful especially when like nobody's watching your videos and that's the way you make money so yeah that can be like really disheartening i keep manifesting like really good things to happen in my life and i really hope they do and i really want to put in that work to like make my dreams a reality and i just have this one fantasy of just getting up and hopping on a plane and going anywhere and just traveling without any worries that made me so happy because i've only been in florida my whole life and you know it sucks here like this is a red state so i mean you can assume what it's like and you've heard the stories about florida oh shit my neighbor is drunk and he's like outside vomiting profusely and um this is like a routine thing i'm not sure what the issue is there but um yeah i had to stop for a second I've been seeing like so many photos of Kim Kardashian and you know Pete Davidson and it's so obvious that's, that it's another PR stunt 
and you know I get it I guess she's trying to clean up her image and like move away from Kanye because of everything that happened with him in the last few years and you know that whole beef with Kanye and Drake was fake it was you know fabricated and I will give it to them they had me at first I thought it was real but as soon as they decided okay we're gonna squash it and we're gonna take this cheesy Instagram photo together and then we're also gonna play a benefit concert and we're gonna sing each other's songs like what I don't know celebrities are weird and I know like this is all connected and they just do this shit to like stay popular um but yeah anyways I'm gonna play the TikTok that went viral Thank you guys so much for your sweet comments and the support that you guys have been showing me. It means the world. Thank you so much. I literally told you chitterling eating bitches. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Obviously you don't get it because you're not that girl. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell twice. Make sure that you're hitting the bell for the notifications on my videos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and like those photos. And if you guys want to donate, there's my cash app and my PayPal. I'm sending you guys love and light as always, and thank you guys so much for watching.